up here is the forts. Yeah. And, uh, oh, so the start was behind us. I, I'm already lost. A little bit faster. Good morning internet, it is 11 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am now in Knin, Croatia. So I'm taking a little break from the West African rainy season and I thought I should use this time wisely and spend it on working on my skills and trying out different motorcycles. First motorcycle that I'll be riding in my time of Africa is this beast, it's a KTM 350. It's also very hot here, so I'm just gonna stand in the shade. I should say that none of the motorcycles that I am riding in my time of Africa are mine. So I am all borrowing them or they're being lent to me. This one I got from Johannes and he has a company called Rally For You. And he lent me this 350 to, as you can probably already tell, race another rally on. So the Dineric Rally is about to start and the Dineric Rally is it's mainly here in Croatia. And we're making one little sidestep to Bosnia, which is the neighboring country. And it's a six day rally. I am super excited to race another rally because for me, it is the best opportunity to build skills because I am pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Of course, on a rally, there are people, there is support and all of that. Everything that I don't have when I am adventuring on my own. So when I'm riding on my own around the world, I am limited in the kind of risk that I can take and the kind of speeds that I can ride. So to really become a better rider, I try to race a rally once a year. So last year I did the Baja Rally and now it's time for the Daneric Rally. So I'm super excited. So before the rally starts, I have a little bit of time to get to know the bike. So my plan was to try and ride it, get a feel for it and also just explore the area a little bit here because it is beautiful. So you can see the bike is already set up with the rally equipment. I have a paper roadbook holder and then I just put on a little phone mount. <laughs> which is maybe in a little bit of a strange position, but yeah, the handlebar is quite crowded. So I just got this uh, phone mount from Peak Design because yeah, when the rally starts, I'll be navigating with the paper road book, but with my little exploration and getting to know the bike, I can use my phone for navigation. And then I just stuck my uh, camera holder here for my 360 camera. So those two are the only things that I did to the bike. And for the rest, this is how she came. So I'm quickly going to put my riding gear on because I cannot wait to test out the bike and see how she rides. So let's go. I go! I'm immediately gonna leave Knin, leave town. Come back later to explore a little bit right locally. But first, I'm gonna hit the dirt. That's what this bike is made for. Also, I have mooses in these tires now. So if I ride on tar, I should take it a little bit easy. Because otherwise the mooses get too hot. But of course it's great to ride with moose because then I do not have any worries for flat tires. I already went the wrong way, so I turned around. Now I'm passing, this is probably the main square of Knien. That looks more like a rectangle to me. Oof, oh, the bike's really tall, but hey, what's new? My legs uh, didn't grow in the meantime, unfortunately. I can just uh, touch the ground with one toe. I suppose that's all you need. I think it will take a little bit of time to get used to the bike. I mean, it's really sensitive on the throttle. I've got to learn how to work that. Not really sure what my fuel range is for this bike. Maybe I should have asked Johannes that. <laughs> I mean, it has a see-through tank, so that's nice. So I can see exactly how much is in there. Wow. Oh, it's already so pretty here, and I've just left town. This is really cool. So the route that I'm plotting for today is about 166k, so that should be easily manageable. The stages on the rally are going to be much longer than that. Most of them, I think, are around 400 kilometers. And the first part that I'm riding, I got this track from ACT, Adventure Country Tracks. So this is part of the ACT of Croatia. So they were kind enough to 
to give me the track because I don't think it's uh, published yet officially and I'll be riding really close to the border with Bosnia today so I'm gonna sneak up I think probably in the mountains right let's try this baby out on some loose gravel it's my favorite <laughs> This is the first real time that I'm properly riding a KTM. That in itself is just super awesome. I like to try out different bikes. In the end, I also think it helps with your skills to ride different bikes and not just get used to just the one bike. Yeah. <laughs> The difference in power is just insane. What a beast. Uh, where do I go? Straight. So the Daneric Rally, it takes place basically in the Daneric Alps, which is, I'm pretty sure, that mountain range over there, or part of that. It's much bigger, I think it's, 200 kilometers long. So the Daneric Alps are obviously not as famous as the Swiss Alps for some reason, but they're an amazing mountain range nonetheless. So I'm really excited to be riding in the Daneric Alps for like a week. the suspension on this bike it is amazing I'm not feeling any of those rocks at all <laughs> this is definitely good terrain to practice on because I have a feeling that the rally is going to have a lot of this type of stuff all rocky hilly It does require always so much focus, eh? To ride stuff like this. There is not a second that you can relax or switch off. <laughs> Some mud as well. To keep it interesting. is super fun to ride. I kind of wonder why this road is here. Oh hey, there's some abandoned houses here. There used to be a town here. Not any longer, see? Uh, in this area you must not... Oh, maybe they're patrolling for the border or something. I don't know, I was just gonna say that you, you mustn't fear of the tracks here because there can still be landmines from the war so that's probably also why it's so overgrown everywhere this is too risky how am I ever going to pass this thing now? <laughs> it's incredible that they're just driving this here right? like riding over limestone at least when it's dry it's, it's pretty good I don't know if it's wet it's probably it's not so grippy anymore 
Wow! <laughs> it's getting better and better! Yeah! What a sunny place! Oh. Wow! I just gotta enjoy this for a second. This is incredible. really go fast on this. It's too rocky. It's sort of a small break. I think that's a good idea. I won't be having any breaks during the race. <laughs> well there will be fuel stops but like maybe only one or two fuel stops per stage I think. So I must enjoy it when it's <laughs> not a <the> race yet. <sighs> Fantastic. I really think I picked the right bike for this for this terrain, eh? A light enduro, at least for me, that's the way to go. Um, I find it, it's, it's hard work. I find it on the KTM, there's quite a lot of vibrations. And then when the terrain gets harder or I try to ride faster, what I tend to do, and I know it's wrong, is to really grip the handlebar too tight. And then with the vibrations, your hands actually <laughs> They, they, they go sleep, they're, they're sleeping, so all the time I must remind myself to grip the handlebar like they're ice cream cones and just really grip the bike with my legs. So I'm just kind of working on that. This is a good training. Yeah, there's absolutely nobody here. Fantastic truck. Let me see how close I am from the border with Bosnia then. Oh, I'm still on the way there. Wow. Oh, it's slow going, eh? <laughs> I'm not really making a lot of progress, so... I don't know if you can see this, but this is the border with Bosnia. So I turned off kind of the main... Okay, let me see. I turned off, yeah, I turned off the main road. And then... Rode through all the forest. And now I'm kind of like on the open mountains and... Yeah, the border is somewhere on that side. Let's continue. Still have 110 k to go for today, so yeah, <laughs> slow going. <laughs> All right, let's go to you. To the top, there's a little house there. Not sure if anyone is there. Oh, that last bit was really tricky. Very steep and then big rocks and sharp corners. There's like a whole lot of technical stuff all at once. <laughs> wow. I can't believe this area. <laughs> is it stunning? I'm, I feel also that I'm pretty high up. This truck is getting a little bit overgrown. <laughs> I 
I am back in Knin and up there is the famous fortress so I'm just gonna check it out <laughs> so up here is the fort which is one of the oldest and largest fortresses of Europe. So the Croatians started to build this fortress in the 9th century, but over time, over the centuries, it got conquered, demolished and rebuilt by Turks, by Hungarians, Austrians, Venetians and some more Croatians. Kind of a living monument, so a lot of history here. Look at this and that mountain you see there in the distance, that's the Dinara mountain. It's the highest mountain of Croatia and the peak is at 1,800 meters. It's pretty high up and yeah, so the Dinara mountain is also part of the Dinaric Alps that kind of run all the way along there. Now I spotted a restaurant here. So let's see if I can have lunch here. That'd be nice. See what they have. On the Croatian coast they eat a lot of fish, obviously. Here it's mostly meat, mostly lamb. Wow, this looks actually amazing. Feel with potatoes and then this view. Alright. That was a fortress. The food was amazing. <laughs> Pretty enjoyed that. And I have a nice little view on Knin. I found two Croatian riders that are part of the rally. Shaki and Gizo. Yes. <laughs> and uh, they had they were here last year in the Neric rally. Uh, and so they gave me a road book from last year's rally to practice my roadbook because uh, for the life of me I cannot remember exactly how everything works so I need to get used again to using the controls like scrolling oh see it's not working <laughs> my roadbook is not scrolling on other way it's already broken on other way how about this one I don't know Aha, uh, you tape it uh, wrong way. The top or the bottom? Oh. Wrong way. Uh, no, it's. Yeah, it's. Uh, Aha. Yeah, I do. So this is motor. How it works? No, it will be okay. Yeah, now it works. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So that's a good check. Is this the, is this zero? Yes. Uh, zero, zero. Yeah. Yeah. Zero this twenty is, is uh, twenty this. is this here. Oh, we already did this. Yeah. yeah. Zero twenty is here. Ah, okay. Then you go there. And, uh, oh, so the start was behind us. Yeah. We there, so that you know, but huh? it's just I easy and I I'm already lost. <laughs> you just uh, wait, but but zero twenty, I go here. Yes. Okay, so go the way when we can. Okay, so I must set my order to zero twenty because we are there. We go. Okay, let's try. Oh, 
Oh, it's so strange to write roadblock again. Now I have so many more things to keep in mind. Why is my odor not counting? This should be going up, no? It's not going up! It stays at 0 020. 0 76 is, is here. Yeah, but it's not. It's not working. No. Only. Only 0 020. Yeah, I put it there, but it's not counting. Oh, magnetic field. Where? Magnetic field. So it should work, no? Yes. But where's the other, other way, magnet? The other way is this cable, this, this, Oops. and this going too, is also good. I don't know why. Oh, there. So, we are already one rider down. <laughs> My ICO problem is fixed now, it was just a, a wire that wasn't connected properly. But uh, Gizo had the same problem, but his wasn't so uh, easy to fix. So, we're just gonna, yeah, we don't have time to wait for his to be fixed. Oh wait, so this way. Okay, now I must take care of the roadblock because I can't do 20 things at the same time. And four. Oh. Wait, scroll, scroll. See? <laughs> One, five, straight. <laughs> oh, 1, 11, straight. Right. Oh! I kind of forgot how difficult it can be to navigate while trying to go fast. So I'm now back, I'm now in Johannes's van. So we finished the little training uh, roadbook. It was a really good practice because I kind of forgot how difficult it is to navigate while you're also riding super tricky terrain and trying to ride fast and then all the time looking where you're going. So it was a really good refresher. Um, I should have done a little bit more roadbook training, but anyway, it is what it is. So in the next video, the race is gonna begin. So I'm super stoked, I can't wait. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you at the race.